Each state shall appoint in such manner as the legislature thereof may direct. A number of electors. It's the state legislature that controls this process. It's your power. It's your responsibility. I can tell you that I am an eyewitness to many issues and irregularities that were observed in Philadelphia with the processing and counting of the vote. The Philadelphia Board of Elections processed hundreds of thousands of mail-in ballots with zero civilian oversight or observation. 96% of the board workers were processing mail-in ballots 15 to 200 plus feet from us. It was impossible for me or any observer to see what the workers were doing with any type of specificity. I went to the um, down to the warehouse to be a canvasser to as a Republican representative to be able to watch them open the mail-in ballots and as the gentleman Justin just described um, we as I was led back to the area where we were able to view them opening the mail-in ballots we were kept in a corral um, that was at least 15 to 20 feet from any of the representatives and that was the closest um, people opening the ballots. We have signed affidavits under penalty of perjury, which should be consideration enough to know that this is a very serious issue. I'm here for one thing only, and that is to speak the truth. This is not about party. This is about my country. Every American deserves transparency, truth, and be able to question those in power without fear of intimidation, bullying, or backlash. Mailed ballots sent out one million eight hundred and twenty three thousand one hundred and forty eight but when you go to the count of the final count of the vote there are two million five hundred and eighty nine two hundred and forty two mail-in ballots this was an election that we won easily this election was rigged and we can't let that happen we can't let it happen for our country and this election has to be turned around because uh, we won Pennsylvania by a lot, and we won all of these swing states by a lot. All of a sudden, ballots were dumped all over the place, and a lot of horrible things happened. And everybody in that room, I want to thank all of the people that signed affidavits and all of the speakers. you fantastic people. You're great patriots. My home county of York County, which netted more votes for the president than any other in 2016, um, we had a 13,000 increase in Republican registrations. Democrats dropped 1,000, Republicans increased 12,000, yet the president's margin of victory decreased by 2,000. At the most basic level, we were not even able to check to see if a voter voted twice or if a voter was deceased. And with the removal of the signature being a check for existing voters, there was no way to protect against someone fraudulently voting for a registered voter. Uh, this is an election that has been corrupted. And so you can't go through that method. And those laws were violated. And that is the General Assembly here, the legislature, is the authorized entity in the Constitution that selects the manner. You can take that power back at any time. And so when the laws were ignored, and that's where we have, and why we have all of this evidence to bring to you, is to show you each of these different types of ways that election officials have violated the manner in which you, as the General Assembly, have prescribed in the law how you select your electors. Because they violated that law, you have the constitutional authority to craft a remedy. You can take that power back at any time. You don't need a court to tell you that. And I don't believe, as a citizen and an observer to this, that anybody could certify that vote in any good conscience.